Hello, I'm Madden, writer, director, creator of Squaresville, and we are talking about how to write an episode of a web series today on this behind the scenes episode of Squaresville. So we get a ton of questions about how long an episode is supposed to be, or like what the scripts look like, all sorts of kind of writer specific questions on Squaresville. So I thought uh, I might kind of explain how we write an episode. Writing things, I'm a writer, write, write, write. I think it should be fun. And I think it works for anyone, um, people period, whether you're writing as a comedy or a drama or uh, a, you know, some sort of experimental uh, you know, fish documentary. Step one, drink plenty of coffee like I do. It's actually probably the most important step. The weird, unique, great thing about web series is that you oftentimes don't have outside forces kind of telling you what to do. There's not a TV network saying, no, you have to write this act break at this point because we have to play a commercial. None of that stuff is happening, and so that's really creatively freeing. But sometimes, uh, for people like myself, it almost becomes harder because you can do whatever you want. So if you go ahead and like just set a couple constraints on yourself and say realistically, I can only afford to shoot for X amount of time and so I need Y number of episodes at Z length, that just makes things easy and it gives you yourself a framework to work in. Ain't nobody got time for a long web series, right? So uh, whether you're gonna write a three-page web series, like a 90-second web series, like the first season of Husbands, or you're gonna write, uh, you know, 10-minute episodes, like something on Hulu, or um, anywhere in between. You gotta get that first act, that who, what, why, out as fast as you can. And so then you have the rest of your runtime for obstacles to stop Percy from getting, uh, getting what he wants. So when you're in your act two, it's really kind of just about staying focused on that single problem and escalating um, the circumstances more and more. So it's like, okay, your character overcomes their first obstacle. What's that next one? And kind of keep building and keeping them varied. Depending on whether or not you want to write an episodic, kind of self-contained web series, which Squaresville does sometimes, or you want to be serialized and tell an ongoing story, um, which Squaresville also does sometimes, we kind of like to have our cake and eat it too, um, that kind of determines how you want to deal with your third act. If it's just purely like a sitcom, you know, the way that Friends would end or Seinfeld where it would end where um, everything in the story wraps up and it's just this little perfect little package, then, um, then I like to just end on a funny joke and then you get out of there. Good night, everybody. Um, but if it's something serialized, which is often a really good idea because that keeps your audience engaged and you get to tell bigger stories even though you're doing it in smaller portions, um, then it's great to end on a cliffhanger so that you really want to know what's happening next. Um, both work, but the point is, the most important part is, that Act 3 where everybody's happy and everything's resolved and everyone's reflecting back on um, the long journey they took, it should be, your, your third act should, should uh, reflect how long your second act was. Just kind of tight, like, ah, oh, here we are, we're happy, the end. And you can do a ton with a, a single sentence or a single shot or a single scene. So really, like, writing web series is about staying concise and packing as much information as you can into a single moment because you know that's all you have to spend. So that comes to kind of my final big important point about writing web series and uh, that's something again you'll hear throughout your entire creative career and it's about they call it either drowning your puppies or killing your babies um, kind of gruesome ideas but the point is is that it's about being willing to sacrifice your favorite idea, your favorite joke, um, the most expensive shot you guys took, whatever it is, something that you're attached to, and objectively looking at whether or not it's better for the project or not, and if it isn't, letting it go. And it's super important. I always say the best form of rewriting is done with a Sharpie. You just, you know, like literally just black out pages, black, black out jokes that don't work. Don't. Don't be precious about that stuff. And again, it's because when you're writing a web series, you just have to pack everything in. So extra fat, extra junk, 
jokes that aren't helping to move your story forward, even if they're funny, you've got to cut them. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any other further questions about uh, screenwriting or writing in general. Um, uh, I've put a couple links to people that I really admire and people who I look up to and people who I've learned a ton from who know way more than I do in the links below. Um, I totally suggested that you go check those out. Uh, but if you have questions for me in particular, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And I want to know from you what your favorite uh, episode of Squarezilla is from a writing perspective. Um, and maybe what your least favorite is, so that I can write more of one thing and less of another. Um, I'm totally curious. We're trying to like listen to you guys as much as we can and, and kind of uh, move the show in a direction that you guys are interested in and excited for. So um, our eyes are peeled on what you have to say. Um, thank you so much, guys. Stay square.